hello guys so in this video we are going to integrate firebase in order to perform the current operations with firebase so in the last video we have created this user interface where we have displayed some dummy data some icons we have added in order to edit and delete and this action button for adding a new student so let's get started with the firebase integration so first of all we need to log into this firebase console so simply log in with your credentials and create a new project and specify the name of your project so let's say i just make it firebase hyphen crud hyphen fire flutter flutter just continue and scroll down we don't need this analytic for the moment just create it so it will take few seconds so wait Alright, so just continue and here we need to just go for the platform. So currently we are working with Android. So I just go ahead and configure Android here. So here we need Android package name. So this what we can do generally this is application ID in build.gradle. So we just go to app level build.gradle. Under this we have this app we have build.gradle just look for the application id so here it is just copy this and paste it over here now here this is a nickname which is optional and you can specify in order to quickly identify so i just make it fire paste crud flutter and this is a sh key so here we can define some key so this key generally we can get it from using some tools so this is required in order to use dynamic links and google sign in or any phone authentication kind of thing so currently we are not using it let's skip this or if you want you can just take a look on this page and we can just configure it quickly so the easiest way is just go scroll down and we have this cradle w2 so just copy this command go to here in android in android we have directly gradle w2 just see this one so simply right click on this and say open in integrated terminal so once open paste your command and wait for a few seconds so we got this sha1 just copy this and go back to your firebase and paste it over there that's all register your app and you need to download this json file and you need to put it into your project and app level root directory so i just open this and i just copy this close this and open my project directory and under android and under app folder just paste it that's all just hit next now you need to follow these instructions so first of all you need to go to root level gradle file so just go to your project and build.gradle so i just go to my this is project and simply build.gradle and what do you need to do make sure you have these google and mabel central in the repositories so we have both and you need to add this dependency so just copy this and under dependencies just paste here this dependency done so you can also cross check these two things are coming under all projects so under all projects same are available okay that's fine now next is you need to go to build.gradle that is module level just save this file first of all go to now under app folder we have build.gradle so go here so what we need to do so first of all you need to add this under plugins id so copy this scroll so just look here we have this plugin so this one is quite different from this so you need to use your mind here 
so under this plugins we have to use it like this so here the formatting is different so here we will just use this paste it and simply use this copy and replace this id with this and next under dependencies you need to add this bomb so go to the dependencies and paste this bomb here so that's all yep so continue to console so that's all a uh, few more things we can add on first of all you need to change this min sdk version to 21 otherwise you need to manually enable the multi text as well so in order to prevent that i just keep it 21 and save this file now we can just close this now we need to add dependencies just go to pubspec.yml and find your dependencies and under which you need to add this firebase code in order to connect with firebase app and we need second dependency in order to perform database operations that is cloud file store just paste this and save this so it will fetch the dependency once you save if it is not fetching you need to manually fetch it okay so let's wait so we can just close this now we need to do a couple of more settings here so we just need to go to this main and here you need to do two things the first thing is ensuring the initialization widgets letter binding dot ensure initialize the second thing you need to initialize firebase firebase dot so let me import this firebase dot initialize app so just do this so this method is basically a future so that means we need to await for this and just write await in front of this so if you're using await you need to make this main async so that's all we need to do basically so after that we need to stop the app and we need to rerun it let's run it quickly and check everything is fine so it will take some time so you need to wait okay so for your knowledge i have fast forwarded this video in order to reduce waiting time so we did not get any error okay fine let's go ahead and start performing the actions so first of all we just go to the firebase project and we need to go to this build and simply go for firestore database so if you can recall the previous video we have created a student model so same way we will just create one database over here so we will start with the test mode let's go next and you can select whatever region you are staying in so i will just go for this asia south enable this okay so once it is done you have to start with a collection and give it any name let's say we just keep it students and just next and here we need some document id so most of the time we use auto id in order to avoid manual creation of ids so let's create auto document id and give it some fields so if you can recall your student model let's go to this just student we had few properties that is id i just go there and the id would be this string and for each document we just keep the id like this okay let's go here next and second we have this roll number we just go here this roll number would be basically a integer type so we just follow it from here 
and we just need number here and one this is just a template so that we can start with something and then we need name and marks so name is again a string the marks is double so name is string you can give it a dummy let's quickly add marks as well make it number and you can give it some value let's say 12 and save this so you got your entry over here okay so let's go back to the project and do write the code let's go to add student first and here we have this button so on this button we just call a function that is add student and we will navigate to the home screen back and navigate to home so here we need to pass the student object and how do you get your student object let me quickly create a student object here student student is equal to student and how do you get this all stuff so id we don't have currently so we can remove this we can use this roll number from where you will be getting roll number so roll number we will be getting from roll number controller dot text and since it should be of int type so we need to just cast it into int so we'll use int dot parse and just paste this second argument is name we will be getting it from name controller dot text so it is string so we don't need to just cast it and the third is marks so marks you will be getting from mark controller dot text so since it is in double so we just passed it to double and we are facing some issue here int this id is required so what we can do we just go to the student object and make this id as optional so we need to remove this final and yeah we can remove this as well just save this and go back here and yeah so here we need to pass two things that would be the student object and the second would be we need context as well in order to navigate to some another screen so let's pass context here so we just create a method here and go to this and here what we need to do we need to just insert it into firebase so in order to do so first of all we need reference to firebase and how do you do so final student reference is equal to firebase firestore dot instance dot we have a method collection and we can pass the name of the collection that is students so we can just close check it what was the name here so it is students that's fine so for this students we need a new doc basically so that we can insert one new entry so this actually gonna give you one reference back that would be used as the id of the student so let's do what student dot id is equal to student let me just use the case properly student ref dot id okay so this doc gonna create a new document entry and we gonna get id from that entry so finally you need to convert your data that is student object to JSON. okay so this we can pass to firebase in order to insert let's keep it into the final data variable and now we're gonna use student reference dot set and the data 
and when it is completed dot do we have when yep when it is completed what to do so when it is completed we can just navigate to the home page we can just convert this arrow function to the ordinary one and we just log here let's say user inserted so that we can see on the console and we just need navigator dot push replacement this is gonna give me the updated data so i just show you what is the benefit of using this so let's quickly use material page route and simply use this builder arrow function and navigate to home page so just add const here and all done so this time when you insert something it should go over here let's go to this mobile app and add a new one and just use here let's say roll number is two the name is let's say eric and the marks are let's say 89 okay and just add it and you can see here one new entry is here okay so that means we have done with the insertion operation so let's go to another operations like delete so simply we just go to this home page and go under the delete icon so here we need to perform delete operation okay so in order to do so first of all we need again the reference let's create a reference on the top so we don't need this okay we will delete it later on and one more thing we can simply convert this into stateless since we are not maintaining any state so we can remove this const here and in the main we can even remove this const and uh, in the add student we need to remove that const since we just made it stateless and we are not passing any key so let's go to home page rack we don't need this key here so what we need we just need a final collection reference let's make it underscore reference is equal to firebase firestore dot instance like we have done dot collection and here we're gonna pass that students name of the collection and just go back here and just put the semicolon in the last okay so this reference we're gonna use for doing that uh, deletion operation so we just go back to delete operation and come here paste this thing over here document let's go for the doc and we need to specify the id which we are getting from students and then index dot id and we can use dot delete here just save this and let's go back to this firebase and this app and since we are not displaying it over here so you cannot delete it so let's cross check this delete operation later on and let's quickly go for this update part whenever you click on this so we just display this information here so before going to update let me quickly retrieve this data over here so that i can perform the real-time operations on the data coming from firebase so here in order to get data we need to use a synchronous call so what we can do we can just cut this part the body part this part and we just make a another method for the same so underscore get body and we can just create this let me add comma here and we can just create this get body from where we can return a widget and just do what return that widget so i think that's fine save this okay now this body part we need to wrap it with some another widget 
that is let's say future builder so this future builder basically gonna give us data whenever received from that firebase so this basically have the future option that is reference dot get so since that get is again you are getting the data and it returns the future query snapshot so what we can do we can better just specify there the future builder is getting this query snapshot okay and what else we need for this future builder we have the builder part and we have this context and snapshot so here first of all we need to check for the error so let's check for if your snapshot dot has error then you can simply display the error then you can do what simply return center widget and inside the center widget we can just return a text and saying let's say something went wrong and just make it const okay second scenario if data received we just make it the comment here check for error and how do you check if data is received if your snapshot dot has data the data you will be getting from snapshot dot data so this is basically returning one query snapshot okay so we just keep it into query snapshot variable and since this is basically optional we need to explicitly specify this okay fine from this query snapshot you need to get all the docs okay so this docs is gonna give us list of query snapshot okay so let's use this and assign it to list of query snapshot to documents okay so once you've got this you need to convert to the list basically convert this coming data to the list so how do you do so we need list of students basically so that would be students is equal to docs that is your documents dot we have that map and here we need to return that particular student each time so how do you get that student let's quickly create a new student object and this data would be coming from that uh, e so this e basically gonna give you the data so what to do is we just use e and then like this and the second one is for name that is e just use this and this and same way e use this and one more thing we left with that is id let's use the id as well e and id so let's close check if everything is right so everything is done just we need to add dot to list over here in order to get the list of students so once we got the list now we can use it and this list we can simply pass to just go here and simply return that body part return that underscore get body and here we should pass this students and this body part should accept to 
load ends okay and we can just remove this student and just comment this and let's quickly go ahead and check for the errors so was the error so here this part we don't need now since we have used it properly and we have any other error yes so it is showing one error so basically here we are returning and here we are returning otherwise that means nothing is happening that means our data is not received so you can otherwise return basically a loader show loading so how do you do so so simply just return a center widget which is having one child that is circular progress indicator so i just add const and that's all just save it let's try to reload this so we got a little error over here so this is basically marks that is saying int is not a subtype of double we need to just pass it basically let's use double dot pass and just pass this okay i just save this and restart this so, and simply go to the student object and whenever we have this double we just mark it as num so that it can handle both type of data integer l as well as string number so let's try and see so this time we are able to see this eric and dummy so both are having over here 89 roll number two roll number two 89 marks and the second one is roll number one having 12 marks named dummy okay so we are getting data now and we can try to delete this as well as we have already added the code so you can see the data has been deleted and what we left so since data is deleted it is not reflected so what we can do we can either use some stream in order to cross check this or we can use one more trick over here whenever we delete we just reload this page so how do you do so to refresh we just use navigator dot push replacement and we can use this route to the same page so use material page route and just use this arrow function and simply say home page okay i just added one extra and save it okay so that's all so delete is done now we're left with this update operation let's try to update this eric or well, let's go back here and just add one more let's say roll number is three that is rio and the marks are 68 just add this you can see it is coming over here okay so if i had not used this push replacement over here this data had not been refreshed since i've used push replacement it is replacing it and reloading the data from the firebase so what we can do now so let's go back to the update and write the code over here so here so first of all we need to create a new student that is student updated student is equal to student and we need to use that id here as well i just use comma and here the id would be the id would be coming from that student here which we are getting whenever we are just opening this page so this is assigned 
and from here what we are doing we are just getting this id so we are not updating any id we are just updating the rest of the data okay so i just add one more comma here and this roll number is coming from where so whenever we let's say just go for this video and we get three zero and 68 marks so whenever user will modify this let's say the name i just changed to verma so that means this should be coming from that controller and same way roll controller dot text and same way marks controller dot text and we just need to cast this to that double dot parse and same way we need to cast it to int parse and save this so this is fine for getting an updated student and now we just need to update in firebase as well final collection reference i just directly use this variable is equal to firebase firestore dot instance dot collection and give it a name that is students and next we use this collection reference dot doc and which doc we need to pass the id that is updated student dot id dot we have this update method updated student dot to json and dot so do we have when completed yes when it is completed what you want to do so i just convert it into normal method instead of arrow one so we just log student updated and we just navigate back to the home page we need to use navigator dot push replacement so here again we are using replacement if you use pop it will simply go back and would not refresh your home page so let's return this material page route and simply return this arrow function and pass this home page so that's all let's try to go back and let's say i will update this rio and the marks should be let's say 50 let's say 45 i just update it and you can see the marks are coming like this let's quickly add one more the roll number let's say four the name is pucha and the marks we can give it 23 and just okay and add so here it is inserted as well so same thing you can see that is coming in the firebase as well see here we got this that is eric this rio with the roll number three and the marks 45 and the last one is the puja with the 23 marks roll number four so one more thing if you're getting this back button what we can do into this add student page and instead of using push replacement we can use push and remove until and here basically we need to return one more function that is this one which is predicate so this actually helps in clearing the back stack so that no previous route should be there so we just use this like this and we just give it false and we can remove this actually so save this so once let me show you once i add it again let's say the roll number is five the name is komal the marks are 55 and just add you can see this back button is removed okay so that's all for this video if you have any doubt do comment in the comment section thank you